All right, so I'm going to be telling you guys about my first semester experience at COD and what it's taught me. So, my first semester at COD, where should I get started? The first class that I ever was introduced to at COD was my English class. I went to that class. It starts at 9 o'clock. I have it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The first time I ever went to that class... I was, I was feeling refreshed because I was able to wake up at 8 o'clock instead of waking up at 6.30 or 6 o'clock when I used to go back in high school. So I went to the cl this class feeling refreshed and the best news that I ever got in that class was if you do all the work that's assigned, you're guaranteed to be in the class. And the teacher's teaching method was just different than what I've ever experienced before. He'd give us blogs to do. We'd do daily, not daily, but weekly reading on the book Born to Run and the blogs on that. We'd have to watch podcasts. We'd have to watch movies, listen to albums of Bruce Springsteen. And what this, this book that we read really taught me was pretty much stay motivated. And even if you're from the bottom, from the slums, you know, you can still make it up. Like Bruce Springsteen, he came up from nothing and... Now he's uh, pretty much a heroic figure when it comes to the U.S. with his uh, Born to Run album, or not his Born to, with his In the USA album, Born in the USA, you know. And honestly, I don't think I finished a book ever in high school, but this is the first book I've pretty much ever finished for a class, and it's just because... It motivated me, and I feel like our teacher gave us this book not only for the class experience, but for the school because COD is a community college, and unlike other colleges, people would say you don't get the full experience, and with this book, I think it's pretty much telling you be motivated and stay motivated because in two years when you transfer or whatever you do, you're going to be either going to a job or you're going to get that full college experience that you see all your friends doing me at COD I feel like I'm already getting that full experience because the environment as a whole everyone's so friendly everyone's so nice if I need to go to someone I have peers that I've met at COD that help me with anything I my first friend that I made at COD was in my English class and her name was Brooke and like this person would help me with my blogs, with my assignments, with my projects, whatever I need to help with, and I'd do the same for her. It was great. The student lounge is great. The library is great. It's just so different from being in high school. Also, having breaks in between class, like from my English class to my math class, I have a one-hour break. This break is just so refreshing. You could get, you could get food you could get homework done you could do whatever you could go sleep in your car i've done that a couple times but you could just do anything with that hour that you have next i do want to talk about my math class my math class was probably the worst experience that i've had at COD. my teacher is a terrible teacher in my opinion and doesn't know how to teach math class he, yeah uh, for instance he goes through slides barely explaining some and that's pretty much it. We had around 25 people at the start of the class, and now only six or seven people show up every day. The only grades in that count, the only grades that count in that class is the midterm and the finals. So a lot of people are stressed out right now about that. The average score for the midterm in that class, I think, was a 54%. And that's that's why i guess people drop people don't show up to class you really don't need to show up to class to learn the information he goes on he puts everything on blackboard all the slides and just goes through them like that so the next class i want to talk about is let's do psychology so i had psychology class this is another one of those really good classes that i've experienced at cod my teacher also had a different teaching style than I've ever experienced. He was so open and outgoing. Like, this is one of those teachers that makes you want to be a teacher, you know? He he was also very motivating. He would assign ways to study for the test, so then you were guaranteed an 85% if you do what he told you to do. Me, on the other hand, I like to study my own way, and I like I still have an A in the class. 
he would give us pretty much two quizzes a week online on Blackboard, and the exams are based off those quizzes, so it's pretty much set. The short projects are easy and relatable to psychology and to yourself. That's pretty much all I got to say. There's one time he did some handstand push-ups in class, and just like what what teacher ever does that? It was so cool. Next is speech. Now, a lot of people are so scared of giving speeches in front of people they don't know. So this first or second speech I gave, you know, a lot of people are just not outgoing, but I'm just one of those people who is willing to be outgoing and make friends. So that's what I did. In my second speech I gave, I did a backflip, and that really got, like, everyone's attention towards me, you know, as an attention getter for the speech, whatever. It was about gymnastics. And from then, I made a friend, and I made a couple friends in that class, and they're really cool. And from that presentation, I just, I didn't feel a little, even a little bit nervous to give a speech because I felt like everyone in that class was my friend. The The teacher... Uh, I'd say a little bit on the weird side, but it was fine. She's a good teacher, good at grading. I have an A in that class as of right now, and that's great. Now, I want to talk about my experience at COD as a whole and what it's taught me. So it's either you could use your time wisely or slack off on your time. That's what I've learned from this. Like my one hour in between my class, I would meet up with one of my high school best friends and we'd both get work done while you know chatting at the same time but then you could either hang out with a group of people or play pool and meet new people go to Starbucks get food there's all that you can still have fun they have I've seen events in the student lounge the other day I saw like a do it your own spa thing and that was really cool they have therapy dogs. Like, there's so much you could do at COD that I feel like I got the full college experience. Now, if you don't play a sport or anything, as soon as you're done with your classes or whatever, you'd go home or go to work, whatever you do. I don't work. So I just I just go home. When I go home, I, I eat, take a little bit of a rest, and then get straight to homework. And after I'm done with homework, I'm able to do whatever I want to do on my free time, hang out with friends or what. But just being at COD, it just it makes me feel more independent. I'd say, for instance, you hmm, you have peers, you make friends. You could tell them, "Hey, I need help with this. Can you help me?" Your teachers, your teachers will help you, but they won't tell you, well, what you gotta do if you're not doing it. For instance, say you're getting like a C in a class, your teacher's not going to say, hey, you got to do this assignment, you got to do this assignment, you got to learn to do it on your own and stop, you know, babying your way around it. You really got to be independent of going to like the, lear the learning commas if you need to, going to your sis to your, uh, your teacher personally, if that's what it has to be, their office, and even the counselor helps. Now... I think the best thing ever at COD is picking your own classes. You pretty much, it's, you, you, ah, <laughs> sorry. You're able to choose your own life pretty much. If you want to have class from this time to this time, it's great. If you want to take these certain classes, then that's what you want to do is like, every, you're not being controlled anymore about what classes you got to take. And from that, it just, it's just really independent. It's taught me to be more independent, to do things on my own. COD has even taught me to pretty much go out on my own. And like even I was, I was reading up on something in the library. And s s with investing, I even started doing that with all this free time. Like, I'd never do that before in high school. Like, it's teaching me more grown-up things. COD is just, I, I'm, I'm getting the full college experience from COD. If I was living in an apartment with my friends close by COD, I'd say that's a full college experience. Now, that's, that's pretty much all I got to say. Thank you, guys.